Hello! Hello, AOS fans! It's the Agents of Nightfall! And we are back once more in the Mirrored City! Watch out! And tonight I am playing Molog, uh, taking over from where Pete left off last week. Yeah, um, hopefully you can't. Not quite as badly. <laughs> you can't do worse than I did last week, so there we go with that. Okay, so, yep. Yeah. Uh, this week, though, we are opening up to all the cards, so this Yo. is most of it, supposed to be competitive. But well, I don't know about you, Pete, I find it really difficult to make decks the first couple of weeks after the um, new boxes are out because yeah. there's so, much, so many different new cards and you've got the new different Warband play styles. Yeah. And I, I really struggle. So I, I hope this is competitive. Well, if you, you just got to rely on me rolling like I did well, last week, you you'll be yeah, fine. It doesn't matter whether it's competitive or not, I could turn up with uh, a deck of 52 ordinary playing cards exactly. and still win. I'm going to play the Ace of Spades. <laughs> that doesn't do anything. I know, but it doesn't really matter. <laughs> I've got 16 glory and you still haven't hit anyone. <laughs> <laughs> so here we go. Let's see how we get on this week. So I am obviously playing the hunt. Robin is Molog, and this is our best of three. So all you guys and gals out there get to see the first game. And our Patreon supporters, all $5 and up, they will get the second and possibly third games for free. Yes. Well, not for free. They paid to get it. But, you know, <laughs> it's just a nice little bonus. And as ever, thank you very much to all our Patreon supporters who are lovely. You're awesome. We had a great live chat the other night, which was really great. We so, did. I like yeah. that. Yeah, yeah it's good was fun. Good. So you can get along for that kind of thing. We post lots of stuff on there. We have lots of chats. You get some discounts on some nice things as well. So, you know, worth a look. Yeah, definitely. Absolutely. There is a link to a, a product review we did in the description below for uh, Versatile Terrain and their nameplates. And if you do join up as a Patreon supporter, you will get a little bit of a discount from those. Which reminds minute, you, Pete, so. we really must get Molog and everybody done. We do, yeah. Nameplates now. That Molog and everybody are still... Still bare plastic. Still bare plastic. So we still love you, Bryce. Yep. Um, and... Um, By the power of Bryce compels you. And so there we go. So we've rolled for the boards and Robin won. I won. You won I it. I won, yeah. I don't think Which he was I, hoping for that. No, actually, I think I was in the end. I think I got myself muddled up. And actually, I think I, I think I won. But then I didn't know what to do. Because I'm still on the same night, as I said last week, when my wife broke her arm in the day. So I haven't really got much time to think about this. So I just kind of put the board. Oh, my God. Um, Threw it on the table, screamed a lot, cried a bit. Yeah. Now, I went for Lethal Hexes because I noticed in my game against Pete that it's not being out of Inspire Molog um, isn't really great and I thought maybe I might decide I want to run through a legal hex to, to get him yeah, inspired like the idea yeah, like so the idea that's why I went with that uh, okay. also Pete's Pete guys are quite fragile so if I can get some movement ploys to stick him on there then yeah. maybe maybe I'll kill somebody so objectives wise I've placed five three and two over here and Robin has four and one over yonder yes. and uh, and so I got rid of some cards oh, I enjoy, picked I up that. four upgrades again like I did last week but this time I'm not keeping them despite the fact that the one card I did get is quick advance that I really wanted to keep Good but I'm going to have to get rid of that well. I've got rid of trained killer which is the one where you can move the dog before you make an attack with Olo oh, yeah. uh, I got rid of awakened weapon great fortitude and deathly fortitude I wanted all of those in the second round mine so the cards are not being nice to me so we shall see how I get on I kept all of mine because frankly they're bloody brilliant <laughs> <laughs> so we shall roll to see who has to place first so Molog he rolls a mighty a Mulligy. Oh, two crits and a single. Double crit. Now, single. every time I've been rolling and I've been doing well on the getting you to place first, I've then rolled appallingly during the game. So, okay, is it maybe, the curse of Mulligy? Oh, maybe. We shall the, curse, see. the curse of rolling well at the beginning. So, and or the, not. Oh, <laughs> oh you nearly two, And the double. I nearly got yeah. it. Just failed. Yeah. Okay, so Robin, I guess I'm placing first. You are indeed placing first. The doge is going there. Okay. What? Old. Spite Shroom over here. I want to call him Shroom Spite. Shroom Shroom. And my next squad, I'm going to put Jagathra over there. Mm. Hello, Jagathra. Hey, yo. I'm going to put Backsqueak. Backsqueak. I'm going to put Olo. Olo over the back there. <laughs> so I'm going to put Run down there, shunned in a, what he may perceive as a rather threatening <laughs> situation there, and Thedra over yonder. So now you can place Stalag Squeak, because he can go after everybody's place, and he can go anywhere. Mm. He can go on an edge hex, he can go on an objective, he can go on a lethal hex if you're really, really stupid. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to put him on a lethal hex. I don't know where to put him, Pete. It's a bit tricky. I well, I had this problem as well. I think, oh, I'll put him on an objective, but now it's just like, well, you'll just hit him. Exactly. That's that's why yeah. I got stuck last game with yours, and I had I had two or three minutes of contemplating where I was going to put him because, mm. yeah, you put him you put him next to one of my guys, and that's great. He's right next to somebody, but he can get hit straight away. Yeah, he might yeah. roll two shields, but mm. he's only got two wounds, so he's a bit wimpy. Rightio, so we'll show you our cards, and then we'll roll for the first phase.
So let's roll to see who goes first. So the hunt gets uh, a massive, mighty, all two crits. So I do need a crit. Single. You do. <laughs> I don't think it matters what that is because I rolled two crits. Oh, yeah. No, no, I no, rolled I a crit. It. Oh no, you, you, got you no, win! You've got a single. You win! No, you've got a single. I got a double. Yeah, but you've got another crit because yeah, you, you finished setting up you've first. You've got two crits. You rolled two crits, yeah. Oh. You rolled two crits. I think you rolled two crits and a single. <sighs> oh, the controversy That's now. That's why I needed a crit. I don't. I pretty. You definitely rolled two. We could roll again. You definitely rolled two crits. Oh, if I roll two crits, then yes, I. I and know. If I you rolled, rolled a single, single then yes. yeah, okay, yeah, you definitely. Uh, well, we literally just rolled them. I mean, it's not hard. We should you be able to. You rolled two crits. I said I need a crit because I wouldn't need a crit. Yes, that's a good point. Yeah, that is a good point. Yes. So for anyone at home wondering what the hell we're going on about yeah, there, yeah, yeah. because Robin finished setting up first, he gets plus one crit to his dice rolls. Mm -hmm. So and then that's we, why. And we've got memories of hamsters, which yes. is why we couldn't remember what we'd rolled. Goldfish, something like that. Yeah, something like that. So Okay, well, that's not, not going as well as I might have liked. But it's, you do get to pick. Yeah, but what do I do? You know, I'm going to let uh, you go first, Robin. Okay. So I'm going to make a charge action with Molog. Ah! To there. Moloch smash. Moloch smash indeed. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. So here's his charge counter. Here's his charge counter and I'm going to roll my two hammers. Now, is the Moloch curse going to follow you around? No. no. No, it will not. So you need a crit. I do need a crit or Shond is going to be splattered all over the wall behind him. Yes! Oh! You do actually succeed there because I can't Robin. push you back. <laughs> no, that's fine, Pete. You that's do, fine. you do. Okay. Well, that's a different set of dice rolls oh. to the last game. Things got a little bit more interesting all of a sudden. In my power step, I'm going to play Inspiration Strikes! Ah! Oh, and inspire Molog. Ah! Don't like it! <laughs> <laughs> You know what? I'm going to cast a spell. Whoa. I'm going to cast Abasoth's Withering. Uh, spell is cast. Oh, nice. Choose an enemy fight within four X's of the caster, which will get Molog in yeah. range because you don't need line of sight for spells. I only rolled one dice, but I'm going to take it because I've got a two and three chance. Yeah, I need a lightning or a crit. Woo! Oh. So that's cast. So I take a damage. Poor. Well, effectively, but not. Oh no. Minus one wound. Minus one wound. So he's down to six. So he's down to six, but he still doesn't inspire yeah, until he's yeah. taken except three he's, wounds. Except he's inspired. Yes, that's true, but none of your other none guys other inspired, inspired than inspired. either. Yes, that's very true. Anything else for you? No. So I'm going to play Spores of Battle. Ooh. And I'm going to put the great strength on Shond Headclaimer. Nice. So he inspires. He now has three swords and he has cleave. Whoa. And he does three damage because Whoa. of great strength. That's why I was thinking of putting great strength on him. I remember this game. Anything else for you? No. Okay, so on to my first activation. And I'm going to make an Oath of Supremacy. Whoa. It's going to be incredibly tricky for me to pull off. <laughs> so I don't know if I'm going to manage it, but we'll see. For my first activation, though, I'm going to attack with Shond on the Stalag Squig. Because it's three swords, two, three damage, and it's cleave. Oh, that's three swords. Yeah, oh. yeah. But I needed, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So in my power step, I have nothing to play at this time. The second activation, Mr. Robin. I'm going to make a charge action. I'm going to go one, two, three to there. Ooh. And who are you going to swat? I'm going to take Grundon. I'm going to use. In fact, I'm going to have to use the club because I've only got two, two hammers. It's a crit and a hammer! So Grundon is dead. Oh, and sorry, before I do that, I'm actually going to score a long strider because I've made two thingies as well. Yep, for you've, done, you've done a move, so you get that. Yeah. And you get another one for killing Grundon. Yeah, and I get a strong start because I've killed the first person. And I score no remorse because I've done more than your wounds characteristic. So you've got five, four, four glory four now. Four glory. Yes. Sorry. Told you I had a good set of cards. Yeah. So I'm going to put Champion's Fortitude on Molog. So that's re-rolled defence dice? Yes. But before okay. I do that, I'm going to drop three new objective cards. And then, at the risk of really, really upsetting you, I'm going to play Ready for Action! And I'm going to attack Thedra. Ooh. One hammer, but I need a dodge or she or a crit or she's dead. So she'll be dead. 
No! Oh, wow. Goodness <laughs> two me. crits. The dice do like to play with me. Yeah. So we're into your power step now, aren't My we? My power step. So I'm going to play a card. What are you going to play? I'm going to play Razor Moor Swarm. Ooh, does that which do? is a spell. Oh, okay. Uh, I need a crit, though. Okay. But if I get it, I scatter three from the caster's hex, and any fighter in that chain takes two damage. Ooh. So I might as well have a bash. Nah, I'd already rolled a crit, so it was a bit much to expect. But I can't be bothered to wait for her to inspire, because <laughs> she won't be a, she won't be alive very long, much longer to do so. Anything else for you? No. So I'm going to use distraction, and I'm going to shove Moloch there. Well, no. Anything for you? Nope. Okay, so my turn. So on to my second activation. Jesus, only a second activation. I'm going to charge with Shond, and he's going to go one, two, three, four, to there. So he rolls three dice, he has three damage, and he has cleave, and I need schwards. And I get single, no I don't get single exists, but neither do you. You need sword. Need swords, and nothing in my power step. I'm going to play great speed on the bat squeak. Bat squeak! Then in my sec third activation, I'm going to move the bat squeak. In fact, I'm going to charge with the back squeak. Might as well. And I'm going to... Um, attack the doge. Attack the dog. So it's just two two little swordies. Crit and an assist, which I don't get. Double assist, isn't Double it? Double assist, yes, it is. Yeah. Dog needs... I definitely don't get. Dog needs a crit. Nope. How many damage is that? It's just one. Oh, okay. He's not quite dead yet. Uh, Anything in your power step? No. Nothing for me either. So I'm going to go on to my turn. So on to my third go, and I'm going to charge with Thedra. Might as well miss with her as well. Let's go one, two, three to here. So go hit the bat squig. Two hammers, please. Nothing in my power step. I've got nothing in your power step. So on to your fourth go. My fourth go, I think I'm going to swap an objective card. Makes so sense. I'm going to get rid of get the heads, because I know I put it in my deck because it looked quite good because you score immediately if you knock people back. Unless Pete gets up to five wounds, I can't score it and as I can't actually seem to roll a dice so to be able I'm going to get rid of that one and draw a new card yep makes sense I have got nothing to play in the past so on my fourth go I'm going to do a charge attack with Jagathra so she rolls three swords it does two damage because she's charged with it and I get single assists because of Thedra standing right next to the bat squig That's it, nothing in my power step. I have nothing in the power step either. Okay. So on to the end phase. You went first. I've scored fired up because Monog is inspired. Yeah. And I've scored shining example for the same reason. Nicely done, so two more glory. I'm gonna keep my last two cards. And then draw up everything. Draw up everything. Okay, so I didn't score over the supremacy and I'm gonna get rid of it. And I didn't score supremacy, so I'm gonna get rid of it. But I did score extreme flank, thank for that. <laughs> so at least I get two glory. So at least at this game I'll have more glory than I did in the last game. Unless you've got that one that steals one of my glory on my dice roll. I do not have that. And I'm going to draw everything up. Time to roll for the second round, so I'll roll first, and the hunt gets... Oh, two crits and a single. la di -da. Wow, just a double. Yeah, I shall go first, and I shall probably regret it, and I shall cry. But I have no other choice, really. So I'm going to make an attack with Thedra. Once more against the squig. Now, I've run a ton of hammers when I needed swords. I need hammers now. Here come the swords. Here come the swords. I'm going to play sidestep and shove it to there. Anything for you? Yes. I'm going to play Tome of Offerings on Moloch. Yep. And I'm going to do a risky charge to there. Okay. Who's he swinging at? I'm going to do a whirling club. Okay. Could be interesting, yeah. but the dice aren't with me, so may as well give it a bash and see so how you get start on. with Thedra. Yep. Thedra. Yep. Okay, Thedra. So, three swords. Three swords. 
Oh, nothing so far. <laughs> no. Oh, no. the dice have turned on you now. Yeah. So, if Thedra doesn't get moved, now. We'll go on to the dog. The dog. This is enough to kill him. The one one sword. sword. So, you do get assists of various nature. Single and double yeah. assists and dodges, so I'll roll a shield. Or... The only thing I can't get. Shield yeah. is the only thing. So here oh, comes. If you get a yeah, I can push you back if you. You get can push me back, but, yeah, but that doesn't matter. The shield is the only thing that will yeah, kill me here. Yeah. So here comes a shield. Oh wow! Resist. So okay. you can push the dog back if I'm you want to. And the last one is Thedra. Yeah. No, uh, Jagatha. Sorry, J Jagatha. Jagatha. No, nothing. Wow. Wow! Well, I've got peat disease. Ah. It's called the pox. Wow! So the dice turns out hate yeah, you just yeah. as much as they hate me there. Mm. So on to the power step, do you have anything? I do not. So I'm going to play Fameway Crystal on Thedra, which does inspire her. Oh, very exciting. Anything else for you? No. Okay, so on to my second activation. And I am going to use Thedra now, and I'm going to use her Fameway Crystal. I'm going to teleport her right in the middle of nowhere. Bloop. Move, action. move her to there instead, I think. Move action there. She's still fairly safe over there. And that does get rid of the Fameway Crystal. And in my power step, I'm going to attempt to cast Avasoth's Unmaking. So two dice, I need a lightning. And if I get it, then I can remove an objective, an objective token. I wonder what you've got. Yay! So I did actually cast it. So I'm going to get rid of objective number one. Twelve. Gone. And I score Scorched Earth. Nice. Score immediately if my warband removes an objective. So I get another glory. Woo, I've got three. It's not quite as bad as last game. And I pick up another objective. That is not the objective I wanted. But never mind. Uh, nothing else in my power step. Okay. I've got nothing either. So on to your second activation. Second activation. Now I can't just make an attack action. Not with Molog, no. You do have to charge mm. with him. So he does have to end on a different square to where he mm. started. Of course, that makes too much difference because you've got a range of two. I'm actually going to make a charge action with the bat squeak. Bat squeak! So I'm going to make a charge action with the bat squeak to bat here. Bat squeak! Cool, okay. So it's two swords. Nothing special going on? No. Oh. Nothing. Oh, and I get an assist, but it's a double, so nothing. It's a double, so nothing. still nothing. The dice dislike yeah. you as much as yeah. me now, it would seem. onto my third activation. So on my third activation, and this hopefully will come, become apparent later on why I'm choosing this path, but I'm going to attack with Shond. I'm going to charge with him. One to there. I'm going to hit Bat Squig. So he has three swords and does three damage. One sword and nothing else. So you just got to roll something and he survives. A okay. dodge. So I'm going to push him back to there. Okay. We've got some charge tokens. One oh, yeah. there. One there. That's it. And in my power step, I have a big fat zero. I'm going to charge with Molog. And charge here. Now Molog's got two charge cards. Molog's going to get ya. <laughs> oh dear. Sean, I think you're about to become a red mist. We'll, we'll see. He's only got two hammers as, we've, as you identified yeah it's not not, not awesome. great no i haven't got any cysts because of the position. and i have got shields but do you have cleave no i don't have cleave yeah. so oh there's, did get a, there's hammer. a hammer could have done with that assist <laughs> basically you need um a crit or a shield so you've got a 50 50 chance yep here we go no shond has been reduced to a fine red paste and i do score no no it's an end face card so i don't score that I don't, I don't score, score anything but I right do get now. a glory. And anything in your power step? No. In my fourth go, I'm just going to move Jagathra. She's going to go one, two, three, to there. And in my power step, I have nothing to do. I'm just going to play uh, this Blooming Spores on Molog. At plus one damage. Plus one damage, yeah. Five damage. Don't know I really need it, but... Well, it depends if you've got the objective that, you know, no, does more damage. Five damage, even. I'm going to make a cheeky charge action. 
I wanted to play great equivalent of great strength on him. Really. <laughs> I'm gonna make a cheeky start charge action to there okay. with the spike through, so it's two swords. Sword and a sword. a sword. So you do need something. Unless you've got a card, you're looking at your cards there. Well, I've got Sorcerer Shapost if this fails. Ah, you've got okay. a sword, so yeah. I need a dodge or a crit. No, it's a shield. shield and I'll push it back into there. So that's two, two damage. damage. So if I'd got the great strength, <laughs> I'd have been laughing. Okay, so anything in your power step? Uh, no. Okay, nothing for me either, so we're on to the end phase. And I went first. Mm -hmm. uh, I... Didn't uh, I scored alone in the darkness? Oh, you actually well by hitting well. Had I had you not been able to hit anything, or had I been able to save something, it might have screwed me up because you were next to me there. And if you hadn't put <laughs> shot over here, there were two places where yeah. you could have stuck. Ironically, me up. I nearly took it myself. I didn't, but no, I might not have had it. Of course, but uh, I'm going to get rid of cover ground because I don't think I'm going to get the cards out that I need to be able to do that. But I'm going to keep the rest of my cards and draw up. Okay. Well, I scored Escalation. Escalation! Because we both, you played one and I played two. And I also scored Dashed Hopes, which I tried to score earlier because I keep forgetting it's not a score immediately card. And I'm going to bin Got Them, which is a really hard card to score, it turns out. That's the one where you have to have three people yeah. next to you. Yeah. It's really tough. I think if you've got, if you go, if you've got Got Them, because I had that in my deck, you've <coughs> got to be hoping that you're coming up against a big warband or you need some well, distraction-y kind of cards well, to get close. Well, I have got some, but they haven't come out. Yeah. Uh, and I kept, I, I, I nearly got it, and then I didn't. Um, and I'm going to keep my other three power cards. Oh, I wonder <laughs> what they could be. <laughs> and then you can draw up. And I'm going to draw up. Okay. So it's time for the third and final round roll. I'll go first and Thedra scores a crit. A crit and single. And Moloch scores. Not Just enough. A single and a double. I'm gonna let you go first, I think. Okay, I'm going to um, I'm gonna attack the dog with Moloch. So again I need two hammers. So not great. He does need a he, he does, does need a plus one damage uh, attack dice. There's a weapon or something. There's a hammer. There's one hammer and the dog rolls dodges. No, dog's dead. Dog's dead. I scored martyred. Hooray! Ha, ha, ha. Somebody finally scored martyred. <laughs> <laughs> so we both get a glory for that. I get one for martyred and you get one for killing a dog. Yeah. And I get a new card. Nothing in your power step. No. Okay, I'm going to. This is going to seem random. I'm going to play arcane savant on Thedra. I know it doesn't, doesn't really do matter. It's doesn't almost like do an escalation. Well, no, actually. So okay. you're wrong. Huh. Uh, and I'm also going to play Path to Glory on oh, Thedra because you can only play, play that yeah, on yeah, someone who's got an nice, upgrade. Nice, nice, and that nice. gives her plus one wound and plus one dice. Uh, and then on to my first activation. Mm. So I'm going to charge with Thedra. She's just going to go one to there. I roll two hammers. Three now because of you do Path to Glory. There and I mean, you don't kill her, and then I manage to tie. I can push it back into the lethal hex and kill her. Yeah. Okay. I've just the you dice are like that. Okay, I've just okay. I've stopped caring that <laughs> <All> much. <okay. laughs> so three hammers, three damage. Because I figure if I can't kill that flipping squig with three hammers, then I'm just going to give up trying. I'm going to give up the game. Well, I've kind of given up already. Okay. But anyway, let's see how I go. You shouldn't talk like that. Ladies dice, and gentlemen, they can, at hear, home. they can hear you. You might hear some bad words in a minute. <laughs> so she's charged now. Yeah, she has. Just checking. What can you do with dice rolls like this, eh, people? What can you do? I think take up chess is probably <laughs> the most uh, suitable solution yeah. in this situation. Right, I'm going to use hidden paths. I'm going to use Jewel of Wits. Oh. And I'm going to move the Molog over here. The Molog's moved. And these are the cards I picked up. So, oh, I got an extra glory because Tome of Offerings. Monarch has Tome of Offerings on. Oh, yeah, you get plus one for killing the dog. I'm going to play Acrobatic on Thedra okay. to make her slightly more survivable. Over to you, Robin. I'm going to make an attack with the Molog. Yeah. I'm guessing you're going to do the swingy, swingy, swordy hit swing, everybody on. Swingy, swingy, swordy hit So who are you going? Are you going for Jagathra or Olo? No, I'm going to go for Jagatha first. Okay. No, Olo first. Sorry, this one on. Olo with the bow. Yeah. Olo or bow. Schwartz. Oof. Nothing. Wow. 
dice hate you almost yeah, as much as they hate me. Jagatha. A crit. Well, there's a crit. So Jagatha does need a crit or she's toast. No. Oh my word. If I do draw, but it doesn't matter, so I can push her back. You can, you can push her back, yep. I'm not going to. So that was my second activation. And I've got nothing else to do. I'm going to play Bag of Tricks on Olo. Mostly right. just to inspire him. I have no intention no, of actually yeah, yeah. using the, uh, okay. the that thing he's got. Now on to my second activation. I'm just going to move Olo. Four to there. Move him. Just to move. And nothing in my power step. Okay, I'm going to play Great Strength on the Bat Squeak. Bat Squeak! And my third activation, I'm going to make a charge with the back squeak. There we go. One, two, three, four. Into there. Got a reasonable chance of killing Jagathra. So I've got two swords, with, but I do get a single assist. Yep. Wow. Nothing. 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 I'm charged token on the back. Power step. I still got nothing. Nothing in your power step. So no. on to my third activation. I'm just going to take a pot shot at the Stalag Squig with Olo. So he's inspired, it's three swords, one damage, but it's got cleave. <laughs> and it doesn't matter. Oh, no, you, you do roll two dice, you do need two crits, because I rolled a sword and a crit. One crit? No, so one wound. And nothing in my power step. Uh, I've got nothing in my power step either. Oh, yes, I have. I'm going to play healing potion on the stellar squeak. <laughs> okay, so he's one less wound now. Oh, maybe two. Okay, I'm gonna roll I'm gonna attack with Molog, I'm gonna use the three sword attack. You can never really be sure whether three swords or two hammers is better or more chance of crits. You've got slightly more chance of crits, yeah. yeah. So, and I've got assists. And so you've got single assists too. A crit and a hammer. No, I don't need a hammer. Oh no, you don't need a hammer, yes. Good point. So a crit is So what if you I roll need. a crit, I'm okay. <laughs> Blessed! <laughs> Blessed. Well, I wouldn't call me blessed. Okay, so I've rolled I've rolled a decent number of crits for my defence yeah, yeah, but yeah. sod all yeah. for my attacks. So final turn, I've got nothing to do with my power step. Uh, I've In got nothing turn. to do either. I'm gonna get rid of magical apotheosis, which is score immediately if you cast a two successful spell one. Now I've got one of two cards in here, one of these could, escalation. could could make it a little bit nicer for me. Okay. It's not the one I wanted. So I've got nothing to do in my power step, so we're on to the end phase. End phase. And I went first, you went I? first. Well, I didn't score on your keep because um, he kept missing. Well, he missed over there. The bat squid missed. The yeah. missed. That's, to, that's if one of the other guys kills somebody. Yeah. So close. I didn't score got them because I wasn't going to score it. That's anyway. a really hard one score now on, on yeah. reflection. Yeah, uh, but I do score superior tactician. Nice. Three more. Nice. So all those instant two, scores you three. had in there, they helped yes, you that. Yeah, yeah. The fact that you scored three on the first turn was yes. pretty handy. Yeah. So not a, t not a bad score at all. No, there you got one, 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. It's almost like you can count. Yeah, I know. Good at that. Well, I didn't score precise use of force because, annoyingly, all my guys were either doing one or oh, three so damage. When and happens. the only person who did do two damage to start with was Thedra, but then I inspired her and then she was doing three damage, so that was no use to man nor beast. Now, I did score Escalation though, which I just picked up, thankfully. Because that was the difference between a terrible game and an absolutely flipping woeful game. And then I did score Frugal as a result, only because uh, Robin pointed out to me if I didn't play certain cards, I'd score that. <laughs> Had he not, I wouldn't have scored that. And I've scored a crushing 9. It's not the worst not score in the world. 9 plays 15. It wasn't bad. That was... I hated that game. <laughs> I can't, well, to be I fair, can't dress I had, it up. I hated that game. I had an absolute brilliant open set of cards. You had a great set of first cards because you killed one person, and I think once after you did that second move. Yeah. Now, I'm not sure of the order because you do the second move, so you should immediately score one of the objectives. So you should possibly pick up another card yeah, straight away then. Done. I'm not sure if it would have made a difference. I don't, I don't know, know what you picked up. Um, I don't know. I don't know if I could have placed my objectives any better over here. I could have possibly left my corner hex one for over the back here, but then this would have had to have been in one, and that one had been 
over a couple, so I could have possibly... Good point, so that couldn't have gone there. So that would have had to have gone there. Yeah. And then that would have had to have gone somewhere. Yeah, so I'm I, not sure you did. I think actually somewhere you may not have picked the best border. That was quite handy to hide behind. Yeah, I'm not sure if... I, I was trying to... Trying to get something to keep me away from the troll a little bit, but... Yeah, because you, I forgot, as you've done before, I forgot you could turn it around. Which means that the, what I thought was actually quite a good thing uh, absolutely bit me in the backside. Uh, but I'm going to, and people are probably bored of hearing this, I'm going to blame the dice again. Because... Every time I needed hammers, I rolled swords, and every yeah. time I needed swords, I rolled well, hammers. You did keep saving. There were times when I could yeah, have yeah, yeah. Done, a, done a bit more chaining of glory uh, if you'd not saved. Yeah, so although it didn't matter too much because no. you still absolutely smashed me in here. So. I'm not going to tell you what cards I've got. I've got one card that I've had since the beginning, which is a really good card, and it could have been brilliant, but I never got to play it. Yes. But I feel like there is a definite weakness in the Moloch Warband if you don't, enge if the opponent doesn't engage with Moloch. Yeah, and I think because of that, either taking Inspiration Strikes, I think or, that's a must. Yeah, either taking Inspiration Strikes, or taking the other one, which Regal is Vision. being on a yeah, yeah Regal yeah, Vision. Yeah. You've got to take one of those, I think. Yeah. And because Moloch now is such a one-man powerhouse, that's going to raise interesting dilemmas for people when going into tournaments is do you take um, there's the ploy which you roll a dice and it can uninspire someone I think um, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. there's the other one where you roll a dice and it can stop them activating for a whole round yeah haven't haven't the Nighthawks don't they have a better version of the one that Nighthawks have got one where I think if you attack them or something and it can it fails. oh maddening cackle yeah, or something like that yeah. and that can uninspire yeah, them that's pretty good that could be quite tasty I have actually I will tell you I have actually put misdirection in the deck because I think you've got to have that Ooh. one because you it's so he's so susceptible to like many of those cards you just mentioned I think if you're yeah if you're building a Molog deck and I think that's really the only way to go is to is to go all out on Molog I can't see any other way of doing it really. no the squigs are alright and I mean you did absolutely hose me with a stunning squig although had um, had my guy managed to be able to hit with his attack, I would have one shot at the status squig on the first turn. I possibly could have ended up getting supremacy because I had distraction, which I could have used on Molog, but I couldn't use distraction on the Stalag squig. So it's a good job I put him there then. Yeah, you need to talk me out of it. Yeah, yeah. I mean that did do me. That really did do me. And then it was just a series of woeful dice rolls. I mean the cards are okay for me. Although Sean could have been dead before he even got to have that attack because I went first and missed. That is true. Your first attack was woeful, and for that reason... But then I would have gone with some different cards to attack the Stalag Squig. Possibly try to kill him another way. Yeah, who knows? It's hard to it's hard to extrapolate the end of the if game from the first are, turn. If you aren't that <laughs> you should be your uncle. That's what my parents always used to say. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So that was slightly better than, the than our previous game, guys. I still don't think it was great. Part of the problem is knowing what the hell to take with them. I'm... St I'm Still not really sure no, what, what to go with. I still feel like magic is a red herring. Yeah, I'm not sure either, because, I mean, you've seen, I've taken quite a few magic cards in there. Depending on the order they come out in, it could be great if you can make her a level 3 caster yeah, and, and, yeah. and then get some of those they're things out. not that great. No, there's yeah, nothing awesome in there. a little bit on there. board position as well, some of them, and I just feel that it could be great. I think if you're going with magic, you've got to go for loads of cards to help your other fighters get better and then use the magic to beef them up even more but yeah I'm not sold on magic either really sure. because these these guys are too brittle though so you there are cards that you can do but I, I took out your other best fighter first well not quite first turn second turn yeah and then yeah. I don't know whether you've taken the cards that beef them up that I took in the other game um, but the plus one plus one dice and the re-roll dice ones I took the one that gives. Um, I took the one that gives them plus one dice and plus one wound once they've already gotten up. Oh yeah, that's part of the glory. No, the spells. Oh, I see. Yeah, I see. I, I just don't know. I don't know. I, I, I yeah, I'm still not sold on spells. I because um, Vortimus relies on. Yeah. Kind of relies a little bit on spells. I just haven't quite. But then the uh, the Grand Clash winner. I mean, he was quite spell heavy yeah, from he what was. I understand. But then he's got three really solid fighters. Yeah, yeah. So the spells are additional <coughs> actions. <laughs> After your activations, so maybe if you've got more solid fighters, three yeah, storm they might casts. lap up those new spells because they can make Rastus and Amis even better. Possibly, yeah. While also contributing to some of those big glory cards for scoring lots of. Yeah, especially the one, uh, the Acolyte one, which gives them plus one level. You can have two level twos running around as well, which yeah, could yeah. make that even more possible. And they've got you've got innate lighting possibilities now as well. Yep, yep. Well. So I, I, yeah, I still let us know what you guys think at home. How have you been faring with magic? Frankly. 
We're not sold on it. No. Perhaps we need to get out into, into the wide world and see what the magic matter is. We do. And so far, I think I was... Some people were kind of worried, and I admit I probably was a bit worried, that Cedra was going to replace Garrick. No, Garrick's still a firm favourite for me. Mm. He's got some people who can achieve some things, actually, whereas a lot of the guys... I actually enjoyed stuff. my game much more than I thought I would. What, when you were the when hunt? I, when I was the hunt. I, didn't think, I wasn't really looking forward to it. But I think, in some ways... Avoiding Molog plays to their strengths because the, they 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 are quite manoeuvrable and will die. So now <laughs> we might be in a bit of a situation here where some warbands just find it a bit easier beating up other warbands, yeah. and it could be that the hunt up against Molog is just a really bad combination for the hunt. Maybe it's hard to say. I don't yeah. know. And but then if if any of my attacks have managed to come off, I might have killed one of your squigs, but I haven't killed a single thing again. I didn't kill a single thing last game. I didn't kill a single thing this game. If I could have killed one or two things on the board at certain points, I could have maybe got some mid-turn glory and been able to do some stuff. Story, but it's story of your life, isn't it? Pretty much. <laughs> it seems to be these days. It seems to be. Magor I couldn't do anything with. The Gits game I couldn't do anything with them. Although the Gits game was partially because I just got tunnel vision on Snurk. <laughs> it became personal at that point. I didn't care if I won or lost. I wanted Snurk to do what I wanted him to do. But I don't know, maybe it's just a combination of some bad luck and, and or just, maybe I just have to face up to facts and I'm a bit <laughs> <laughs> I think the previous game was definitely bad luck. This game, I'm not sure, I think I would have to look back at the dice I feel like they may have evened out. I th well, yeah, it's you, hard to you, tell. You, um, you critted. But more time. my crits you were defence. You did miss, yeah, I know. But Most of my crits were defence, yeah. whereas I couldn't get anything on attack, so no. you can only save, defence is okay, but sooner or later you're going to fail a defence roll and die. I suppose so, but if Monog had killed even one of those, it's two, two glory of turns. I mean, yeah, I yeah. to kill both of them with Monog before... I think you were comfortably ahead by that point yeah, anyway. Yeah, it wasn't but, yeah, really going to be yeah. a struggle. Right. So hopefully I'll be drawing Inspiration Strikes first turn, next turn. You did have a bit of a perfect hand start with though, Inspiration yeah, Strike and those three. That and, was a, yeah, and uh, Ready for Action. Yeah, and I had to get rid of all of my cards because I had all my upgrades that I really it wanted. It was absolutely perfect. Yes. Um, Some might say he may have even made the deck how he wanted it. <laughs> uh, it we'll watch him deck. next time when he's shuffling. Um, I was going to say something. Well, that's why we're making the best of three, so maybe wonder, next yeah, game. We'll but I there. almost wonder whether with Moloch you need to almost mulligan if you don't get Inspiration Strikes. <laughs> almost like with the axes. You, you I did, I mulligan, but I didn't get either Regal Vision or it when we played yes yeah and then I think didn't you draw both or something or you got at least yeah, one of them the next yeah. time round so yeah. it's, it's a question whether you want um, both of those cards in your Molog deck really yeah I'm not, I don't think I have I think I completely forgot about Regal Vision it's hard to tell because I mean he's actually Molog's quite manoeuvrable he's moving six hexes really yeah, yeah, yeah. so yeah. and he can move once and then he can charge and once he's inspired he can charge twice so he's, he's we discussed before in our live game about how it would be a shame to see a warband turn up that had a special theme that broke the game that they had to ban. I'm not sure Molog's it, no. but he's already he already feels a bit too good to me. Think, well, I don't know, because he's interesting, because once you've done that first charge, because I hadn't really thought about it until we played, you can only charge. If you want to attack yes. again, you can only charge. Yeah. So you have to move. There is that. So there setting that. up that, like, those, uh, like, got them. I might have been able to set that up, except I had to move. Um, there is that, yeah. And so it, it it's not as good as I, I thought. Oh, great, you can keep attacking, but actually you can't. Once you've charged once, that's you can yeah. you can attack one more time. If yes. you, once you're inspired. But it's got that range of two and stuff as well. So your chances are you're going to be able to move and attack once, possibly twice, yeah, before I, you then get a charge. Yeah, I almost wonder whether actually you need to be a little bit more circumspect with him and move because he's so tough. Move and then then you can possibly move in range to be able to use some of his range attacks first yeah. and then after maybe one, a turn or two of swatting people because he moves three and he's got a range of yeah. two that's five hexes yeah, he's got a fair out, move you on. have to get into a clump because if you just move I think we've shown that actually not engaging with Molog is the way to go so if you just move yeah. and, the, and everybody else moves out of the way then you're buckered it's I have I keep telling you what I've got I have got centre <laughs> of attention in here which would, would would keep things focused on him and that would help you with the objective of um, yes well that's why I can't remember what it's called so, uh, but yes yeah got them I think got them yeah, yeah. and it is um, yeah it's hard to tell yet with Molog I think it is going to make people have to think about taking those cards <laughs> that, that target specific fighters mm. now which before before now before Moloch turned up 
I don't think anyone ever really gave them any consideration at all because like why would I risk one card just to uninspire one person mm. but Molig inspired he becomes a whole different ball game being able mm. to charge twice yeah yeah although he still needs his plus one he does need some card. extra dice yeah, yeah. And I think plus one damage plus one um, wound plus one dice cards plus one dice cards yes one although dice. I don't think there's, there's anything that gives you just plus one dice although there is a card I think that gives you plus one dice when you charge most of the time I don't bother with those cards because like well no, I can only no. charge once but Moloch you can charge no, twice that's true actually yeah, so I thought of that they might be more. specific because there's definitely an Auric one of those and they might be a they might be might one be by a specific there's a Magor one as well definitely a, a Stormcast one yeah um, and I think there's a there's a Garrick one as well but who knows we shall yeah. see we, we shall sit here and contemplate the meaning of life the universe and everything and uh, we'll see you next week and for Bye. all you Patreon supporters you will obviously get the second and if there is one third, third games yeah. over the next couple of days hopefully all being well and me having time to actually achieve that and we shall see you soon bye, bye.